Diaspora UA and uh, Bogdan Borovets welcomes you on our channel. Today we have our guest Max uh, Simonenko, US politician, community leader, uh, Republican US House candidate uh, for California uh, and successful father of uh, five. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you, Bogdan, for having me. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on uh, as the primary winner for Republican Party in uh, Congressional District 7, California. And um, uh, as uh, many of us uh, know that uh, American politicians, of course, have to think about uh, America first and uh, as you do, but also we see the war in uh, Ukraine impacted uh, also United States. And, uh, for example, President Biden says that we are helping Ukraine and all these high gas uh, prices, high inflation, economy is bad because of the Russian-Ukrainian war. And uh, most, uh, a lot of American, uh, American even getting angry because of this uh, and help is being announced every other week. But from multiple reports, we know that it's not true. The only fraction of that support being delivered to Ukraine. And uh, I just wanted to ask your uh, thoughts about this. What's going on? Bogdan, thank you again, again for having me. Yes, uh, people actually elected me or um, uh, voted almost 43,000 people voted for me in wow. my district and I'm very grateful, yes, almost 43,000. But regarding Ukraine, as a Ukrainian, born Ukrainian, originally born from Ukraine, I love uh, our country. And my policy is st uh, stays the same, America first, but help Ukraine today. And actually I was helping Ukraine from 2010. My journey started to help Ukraine because Ukraine is still in my heart. And I was helping Ukraine uh, from, I think, 2009, 2010. Uh, in 2014, I understood why uh, Ukraine needs my help. And this is one of the reasons why I'm running for Congress, because uh, there is going to be a, a very good chance that we actually can help Ukraine and I can help Ukraine. And actually, the Ukrainian diaspora in the United States can help and change uh, history in a good way now. If we're going to write the history and they will see that Max and Bogdan in Ukrainian diaspora actually helped Ukraine and now Ukraine is truly free. But free Ukrainians need to help Ukraine today. So that's one of the reasons why I'm running. But my first thing, my um, um, uh, policy is first you help America and America is help asking today for this help. They're asking Max, where are you guys at? You went through the socialism, you went through communism. Please share uh, the story. Please tell us what's going on and why. We never tried it. Maybe it's a good thing they're saying. I say, guys, no, 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 no. Here, this is one of me. And there's another, there's other two million people that can, they, they can share their story. They went through this system. The system, uh, this is the fruits of the system, what's going on in Ukraine. After Ukraine, they will come here. And actually, we can see this dark hand uh, that changing America, changing the American way. They're trying to manipulate our constitution. They're trying to change the, this, this freedom, understanding of freedom. The whole world don't understand the freedom of America. Why America is so successful? Why you guys are so happy? Why they're saying you're, you're having these fake smiles? Why you, you, are, you can afford the big trucks? Why you eat so much? Because you guys made it. You deserve it. And they make you feel um, guilty. They make you feel that it's your fault why the whole world is struggling and you guys are having good time. So today, my uh, story, why I'm sharing my story with my American brothers and sisters, guys, you need to keep, you need to fight. And they say, Max, we need your help. So that's the main reason why I'm running for Congress, to represent immigrants represent lower class middle class higher class because i went through the bottom with no flag with no country because my country betrayed me why my parents left ukraine because there was no future for them uh, that country didn't provide uh, those resources that you have future and we know why and it's not because we are bad people that it's not because ukrainians are uh, screwed up no it's just because we've been betrayed a uh, long, long time ago. So today, that's why I'm running for Congress. And uh, I hope more people will join my 
uh, my campaign and will send me to Congress so I can represent my district and then I can help Ukraine. It would be great, and uh, I believe you can do this with all, with support of our viewers, of, because uh, this experience. I also was born in in, uh, in USSR, and uh, also came here because there was no freedom, and uh, it sounds really great on the paper, uh, equality and everything, but in practice, it, it doesn't work. Only establishment were uh, equal, and they had everything, and uh, regular regular people had nothing, they were just uh, suffering and there was no uh, prosperity, no nothing. And in, essentially Ukraine is fighting against this uh, similar system that uh, right now in Russia, dictatorship, no freedom, no freedom of speech and, and so on. I just wanted to touch base uh, about six senators uh, that uh, wrote a letter to Secretary Austin and General Milley. Uh, they wrote uh, not to President Biden because uh, military help that was already approved by U.S. Congress is not uh, coming in the only 10 percent came to Ukraine. These senators went to Ukraine and, and they, they saw the obstacle is uh, actually here in the administration, President Biden. So they urge to act uh, immediately and send this equipment. Uh, and how would you react on this, on this, uh, on this news? So my personal view or my personal stand is when it happened February 24th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I almost made a decision to go to Ukraine. I had a baby on the way in June. My campaign just started and uh, I'm emotional right now because I remember that moment when all this happened. Uh, I almost made a decision again to go back and do my part as a Ukrainian. I would not, I don't think I would pick up the arms. I would do just humanitarian stuff, you know, go pick up those bodies, to be comfort, uh, somehow influ influence people, you know, give them hope. That's what I was doing for many, many years. That's a, my personal, but my family said, Max, if you're gonna make the decision, we will support you. Everything you did, we supported you and it came, it, bring, it brought blessings to our family. So if you're gonna go back to Ukraine, we know it's, it's in your heart, we'll bless you. But think about it because you have a baby coming up, your family needs you here, and maybe you can do it a little bit differently. You can uh, help Ukraine a little bit differently if you win in November. You can use that tool to help Ukraine. And I kind of thought about it. I talked to my American friends. They said, Max, yes, you have a big chance if people will support you. Uh, do, you know, run your campaign hard. Uh, tell your story. And I, I made a decision to stay. Yes, I support it financially. I found a very good um, uh, organization that uh, helps. I mean, if you know, uh, Revive Soldiers Ukraine. Guys, look into it. That's, what I, that's where I kind of uh, donate and help. And I know the person personally. We met, we talked. Uh, very good person. Uh, uh, about our senators, first thing we need to do today, yesterday, we need to unite. As a Ukrainian diaspora, we need to unite, and we have almost two million people that can actually influence Americans. Two million Americans, Ukrainians that can actually do a big change today. Two million. Imagine if you guys we will unite and people will find Americans will find out that there's two million people right now organizing. We can do so much. If uh, senators, they do, I think they're doing their best. We need to support them. We need to call them. We need to send them letters. We need to meet with them. We need to show them that, that we are here and we are ready to go there. Americans are helping, I think, more today than we are. So they need to see this, that the Amer Ukrainian American community are united and they're doing their part. And we're doing the, our part. We're doing so much. I know we're doing so much, our volunteers doing so much and they know, but it's a small, small, tiny speck of the, of the, of the hell that we, when we are united. So first, uh, first step I would recommend that you unite as a, as a Ukrainian diaspora who loves Ukraine, who understands not only because Ukraine, because of, because we are humans and it's closer to us. We're not going to go to Africa. Yes, we're going to help Africa. Yes, we can help, we can help other countries, but Ukraine, it's our, we understand the language, we understand the culture and we can help those people that's our people our children are dying not even our just little humans are dying that are there there's no hope so the second thing again we can support our senators we can ask and say hey let us know if there's anything we can do as the citizens 
to help you guys. So you have this backup, this backbone that will help you. And the third one is to have a plan how to help Ukraine. And Ukraine will win. One day they will win. What's next? The third step, the third phase. So make sure Ukraine understands what freedom is, truly is, because for them it's there's no um, it, it's it's going to be for them it's going to be hard for them to understand what truly freedom they're fighting right now for their lives they're fighting right now because somebody's attacking them they're reacting to the, the to the evil what's what's happening one day they will win what's next what's going to happen with social when's going to what's gonna, what's going to happen to social war are ukrainians ready to understand what freedom is and then we step in as a free americans free americans ukrainians step in and say we're here this is what you guys missing that's what we understood from free people from free americans and we are here to show this and we're gonna win again the the second war the actual freedom that will they will understand and ukraine i believe ukraine will become a second nation a free nation like america and then we don't have to help Amer uh, ukraine again ukraine will fight and they will have resources because ukraine is a rich country with a lot of resources they can defend themselves and i want to be part of this historical movement if not in my lifetime my children my youth will say yes we want to continue what bogdan and max started and we're going to help ukraine and we're going to finish and ukraine will say yes we want to be like americans free like americans and self-sufficient like americans so nobody else will lie to us and we're going to help our people. So we're going to help Ukraine. I just want to remind our viewers, it's already been six months since uh, the beginning of this Russian invasion and war continues despite it almost uh, disappeared from uh, US media uh, platform. And uh, as uh, I mentioned before, uh, Sergei Lubarsky, who is a big data expert in Silicon uh, uh, Valley, he organized analytic volunteers group and uh, they came to conclusion only 10% help uh, been delivered so far. This help not uh, delivered only because of delay caused by Biden's and administration. So this six senator who wrote letter to uh, General Milley and uh, Austin, uh, Secretary Austin, they trying to push uh, administration and uh, they trying to help deliver this uh, 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 military aid faster. So we have only one week before the Congress go on vacation and uh, uh, Sergei L uh, Lubarsky organized campaign where you can go on on this page there where you can easily used by copy paste letter send it to your uh, senator representative in uh, it depends which state you are it will be different representative of course you have to find out there is a instruction video instruction it's very easy to do and we can help this way to uh, you know draw more attention and maybe it, it will help to push this uh, expedite this uh, weapons much faster anyway uh, i know that uh, you have great support as you mentioned 44000 of uh, supporters right and uh, if somebody wants to contact you or wants to reach you to ask question how they can find you and uh, what is the best way to 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 reach you so it's very simple it's max let's start with this www.max.vote but or just uh, max.vote it's very simple i'm ready to meet face to face if you guys want you want me to fly in or drive in and meet you face to face i'm open this is my mission today till november um or you can just uh, invite me to your life and uh, we can meet that way but this is my mission uh, i would love to meet uh face to face and, and know you personally that's great and uh, i just wanted to remind you that uh, uh max uh, was born in uh, ussr and he experienced by himself this uh, socialist system and he he knows uh, like firsthand he had experience he can explain everything and he can compare and uh, that's why he is very valuable to be in uh, congress united states congress we don't want to repeat the same uh, mistake that was uh, made in uh, USSR. I would like to thank you one more time for all you do for uh, to help US and uh, Ukraine and thank you for spending your time with us and it would be great to see you again. 
it's my pleasure. Eventually, we, we will achieve our dreams. We will achieve our goals. Just to remind you, uh, you saw Diaspora UA and uh, uh, Max uh, Semenenko and Bogdan Borovets.